The Transportation Security Administration hosted a grand opening and ribbon-cutting ceremony for their new canine training center building at Joint Base San Antonio Lacklin on Friday, March 4. The building was the result of coordination and partnerships between TSA, JBSA Lacklin, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which built the facility. It's a true interagency jointness, and what we're doing here I think is truly extraordinary and it represents not just the, the great Department of Defense, Department of Homeland Security partnership that exists, but really the partnership that exists at all of the subcomponents of those two big departments and in all of the reach across the federal government. The TSA Canine Training Center's mission is to provide, train, and certify highly effective explosives detection canine teams. All of those individuals from the police departments, uh, state patrols, other federal agencies will come here and train and then they will go back to their home locations with TSA provided canines and training to support the mission of keeping the public safe. Canine handlers and their partners go through a 10 to 12 week training course involving a variety of environments to include cargo areas, passenger terminals, Good boy. and the inside of an airplane. Good girl mama. Real life scenario training for these canines and for us as students down here is invaluable because we might not see all these situations uh, out in our local airports, but we will be familiarized with them because of the training that we've received down here. The new TSA Canine Training Center is projected to train approximately 250 canine teams during the year. These teams sniff out trouble, independently as well. keeping us safe at the nation's busiest airports, mass transit and maritime systems. From the 502nd Air Base Wing Public Affairs Office, oh boy. I'm Sean Schroeder.